And my name is Mark Mulligan, and I am director of the Vaccine Center at NYU Langone Health, and also the director of the Division of Infectious Diseases and Immunology at the NYU School of Medicine. My father was uh, an oral surgeon. Uh, I was inspired by him, I think. I wanted to be able to serve to be needed. I think watching him interact with people and helping is, is really what made me want to take this career. And I liked thinking about a problem and trying to solve it, sort of a, you know, like a, a mystery, you know, what, what's causing this fever, this rash, this infection. I went into a molecular virology lab and studied HIV virus assembly, how viruses put themselves together, how they depart from the cells that they have been infecting. But there was nobody at our institution that was doing vaccine research on HIV. And I felt like, gee, maybe that's an area where I can have a, a niche, make contributions, uh, be, be on the cutting edge of a really important area, which is developing an HIV vaccine. So that's how I got started in vaccine research and immunology. Our field is fascinating. I've never had a boring day at work. There's always something new. Uh, we keep having emerging infections, re-emerging infections. Just in my career alone, I've, I've worked a lot in, in research relating to the 2009 flu pandemic, bird flu um, pandemic threats like H5N1, H7N9, Zika, Ebola, and most recently, since I've been here in New York City since October, and the measles outbreak that we've been suffering started in October last year, our job is to care for the patients. So establishing rapport and being empathic with the patient is, is very important from the very beginning. But while all that's going on, in my mind as a, as a diagnostician, I'm thinking about the possibilities and what other questions I want to ask, maybe what tests I need to order after I leave the room and go to the computer and, and, and working on my initial evaluation of the patient. But I think it's, you know, being well-trained, um, being competent, but also being compassionate. 